Good morning. My name is Aubrey Richardson, and I'm a licensed professional counselor in the state of Texas. I am the owner and therapist at Sage Holistic Counseling. I specialize in working with adults, anyone over the age of 18. Um, I primarily work with folks in the caregiving professions, other therapists, nurses, doctors, vets, um, anyone adjacent to the mental health field and police officers, EMTs, other first responders. I help those folks manage depression, anxiety, um, obsessive compulsive disorder, and trauma. As a therapist, I look at things very holistically. Um, it's impossible to separate the mind and the body and the spirit um, from one another. And so therapeutically, I approach things a, a little bit differently. Are you sleeping well? Are you fueling your body with food that is nutritious at regular intervals throughout the day? Are you staying well hydrated throughout the day? And we are basically very emotional houseplants. Um, how much time are you spending outside? Are you connected with your community? Do you have the social support that you need to thrive in your life? When I approach therapy and helping, I approach um, helping through two main pathways. Um, the first pathway is through what's called CBT or cognitive behavioral therapy. CBT is the gold standard of treatment for most things, uh, most things that you're going to see um, in therapy like anxiety and depression. It's very logical, very intuitive, and it flows really nicely in conversation. In CBT, we know that trying to change how you feel is not effective and we know this right when someone tells us well just calm down or be less angry no one in the history of ever has just magically become less anxious calmer and less angry and so instead of trying to change how we feel which we know doesn't work we slow things down and we take a look at the thoughts and the behaviors underneath the feelings and in looking at those thoughts and behaviors, see if there's any room um, for change, any adjustments that we can make in order to feel differently and ideally less, less sucky, right? Less bad. Um, the, the other way in which I approach helping and healing is based on the idea that how you show up in the therapy space is reflective of how you show up in your everyday life. Um, sort of like an experiment or a sandbox. So if someone comes in to see me for anger, um, it is very likely that at some point they're going to get very angry with me. Um, and instead of in session maybe saying, take a deep breath, practice your coping skills, um, it, something like that, I, I really use the relationship that we build between us to give valuable feedback and allow opportunity to, to practice differently um, than you, you've probably ever gotten anywhere in your life. So in this situation, I may say something like, wow, when I see you get really angry in, in session, I feel very scared. You know, your anger can be very um, explosive. Has anyone ever said that to you before in your life? I mean, using this space, you know, this virtual room that we have to really explore that and to practice interacting with folks differently. Um, in the therapy space, it's just me, right? No harm, no foul. That if you practice a different way of expressing your anger or, or in relating to people and it go, doesn't go how you imagine, again, it's just me, no harm, no foul. Um, but the relationships in your life are really important. And so we don't want to be practicing necessarily these different ways of relating to people um, and expressing our emotions with our friends and family immediately. We want to be able to have a safe space, a safe relationship like the therapeutic one to practice these different ways of walking around in the world. If anything that I'm saying to you um, really resonates with you. If you are someone who is very interested in taking a holistic look at your life, someone who is interested in you know, addressing the thoughts, the behaviors, who is looking to feel 
better in their life, less anxious, less depressed, um, to really look at the root of things, to really get to what what is the source of all of this distress so that I don't have to keep coming back to therapy. Um, I highly encourage you to reach out, schedule an initial consultation. We can continue to speak more and ask questions, answer questions, whatever it is that you may need to feel ready to take that next step in your healing journey. It was lovely to have a quick chat with you. Be well.